Hey. <laughs> Hi, Doc. Kareth Burke, NBC Sports Bay Area. After winning game two, after winning this game like this, are you thinking why not be the eight seed that tries to take down the one seed? Yeah, I mean, energy? I don't want to get ahead of myself. I mean, they're up 3-2 mm -hmm. still. Um, but I just loved how we played. I, I really did. I thought, um, you know, all we talked about is being us. Like, um, we, we really felt, and I told our guys, like, They've been them in the series. Um, we have yet to put a game where we are us through the, through the game. And I thought tonight was more like us throughout. We kept attacking. We kept running. Uh, we kept spreading the floor, moving the ball. Uh, Pat Beverly, the gritty show uh, with the rebounds, the tough rebounds. Um, Gal, I mean, that was us. That was, that was our team today. And so that was great to see. Tomer Jari from Clutch Point. Doc, we all knew Gallo's struggles coming into tonight. What what did he do to get going? What was his um, It was Gal. I mean, we, we did some things. I told you before the game, we thought there were, there were places we could put him um, that that would favor him. Uh, we did that. Uh, but Gal, Gal came through. He just he made the shots. Uh, we posted him a lot more, uh, which I thought got him started, you know. Um, so, But it was more Gal. It was Gal being Gal. Uh, we needed it. Uh, we needed Lou. I mean, to, to beat this team in, in a game, you literally need everybody. And I thought every single guy came in, did their role. Each guy was a star in their role. Uh, and that's why we won the game. Coach, uh, Tony Harvey, Sacramento Observer. Uh, you did mention Lou. He had a big second quarter and fourth quarter. But those fourth quarters, could you talk a little bit about, you know, his mentality approaching those fourth quarters? Yeah, he just he's, just, he's a great scorer, just like uh, Curry, just like Durant. Um, you know, in the games in L.A., they, they were trapping him a lot. And so we took the picks away a lot tonight and, and ISO him with space. And I thought that uh, that gave him room to work. I thought the end of the second quarter, he did it over and over again. That got his rhythm. And when Lou gets his rhythm, you know, he's, he's tough to guard. Uh, his mentality in the fourth, he believes he's a closer. You know, he is a closer. Uh, and he did that uh, tonight for us. It was tough keeping a man. I, there was a stretch. We, we brought him in earlier than I wanted to in the third. And, you know, it was tough because I wanted to give him a minute uh, of rest. We really didn't, wasn't able to do that. Uh, but he kept going for us. Doc, two wins in the place that's considered one of the hardest places to win. Well, two losses at home. Do you almost want to play game six here? <laughs> no, I'd rather play game six in L.A. Uh, I, I really do. Um, we, we owe that to our fans. You know, we want to we want to do right by them. Um, so um, we're looking forward to going home. Um, you know, my guess is there were probably not a lot of tickets. So because uh, I don't think a lot of people thought that the game six would happen. Uh, I think our guys did. And that's all that mattered tonight. Um, but when we get back, we, we need them all there. Yeah, that's what I yelled, you know, before the game. Um, Ralph told me, and Ralph never speaks to me before the game when I'm on the floor. And he walked up to me, first time ever, and said, Coach, I've had 20 people to congratulate me on my career and say good luck. Like, tonight is the end of Ralph. Please do something about that. Um, so, Ralph, we did. That's all good. Colin Ward, Henry, CBS Sports. Um, you mentioned that trying to get Gallinari going a little bit yeah. in this game. Do you think you were successful in that? And yeah, we were. He, um, he was good. I think it would be even better in game six. I think he now knows where he can score from. Um, you know, at the end, you know, he had a couple of turnovers. That's the areas we didn't want him to have the ball. Um, and, you know, we got him back out of that spot. But uh, he, was, he was absolutely terrific. Coach, uh, Will Gottlieb, Bleacher Report. Um, you talked pregame about trying to do different things to get Steph out of his rhythm, to get KD out of his rhythm. Um, obviously, KD was really great tonight, but Steph had kind of a cold shooting night. Can you talk a little bit about like the top locking and just what goes into the process of deciding to try something unconventional on these guys? Well, you have to. You know, um, I, I think the key is I have a group of guys that are willing to try it. You know, they're willing to do different stuff. And, you know, some of the top locks don't make a lot of sense when you think about it. There's nobody on the backside. Uh, but what we're trying to, and they're doing it, is every time they don't get the ball, it's a good thing. Um, 
our, our catchers, which we call our help guys, are in support. You know, they're trying to take away the, the back cuts. They, they've done a pretty good job there. Um, we're, we're trying to trap Steph whenever he gets the ball for pick. Um, so we're just trying our best to keep him in the box as much as we can uh, because, you know, when he gets loose, nothing good happens. I thought he dominated the first three games, or the first two games, and um, we just felt like we had to do something, and so it's been good so far. Like there was sort of a high after that game two win, and you knew the Warriors were going to come out yeah. firing game three. How do you prevent another sort of game? Well, I think we've learned the lesson, okay. uh, you know, um, and they taught us it. They really did. Um, so uh, they were a great teacher for us. And, you know, we had that mentality coming in here tonight, you know. Um, and so our guys came out and play. Patrick Beverly was also on in that first half, yeah. four or five, you know, through three-point land. Could you talk a little bit about his play tonight? Yeah, I thought him and Jermichael in particular. Um, you know, Jermichael spacing the floor. You know, uh, we took advantage of their that lineup they had early, you know, with Jermichael being able to stay out and Bo gets back. Uh, Pat was the other guy they were trying to help off of. Uh, he, We told him stay behind the three and let it fly. Uh, he did that tonight. That's how we have to play. Um you know, Pat offensively was great, but the rebounds, the deep. Uh, when you thought, when you look at this game at the end of the game, he was matched up with fours and fives under the basket, and he kept coming out with the rebound. It just tells you how tough he is. He is a tough dude, uh, and he showed that tonight. All right, guys. Thank you. All right, Ralph.